Hi, so I'm going to talk about our latest product in the Subgigar heads band and especially in the unlicensed spectrum. So that means LoRa 1, Sigfox, Wireless Sembus and actually any other proprietary protocol. I'm very excited today to have the opportunity to talk about our latest series called STM32WL, which can be used in many long range applications such as energy management through smart metering, but also a remote fire detection system to name just a few examples. But before providing you with more information about uh, STM32WL itself, let's get back to the basics of SubGigaHertz hardware implementation. A natural approach could be to think first of all of a standalone microcontroller, which would manage the intelligence of your application, along with a standalone uh, radio transceiver matching your applicative needs. Well, that's something which is still feasible, of course, from a hardware standpoint, especially when considering our large portfolio of general purpose microcontroller. However, in the framework of low power wide area network, we understood from you, the customers, that there's a clear need for a deep integration along with more development security, uh, more flexibility, advanced security features, and all of which in a ultra low power framework. So we heard your needs, we listened to them, and we accepted such a design challenge. You are thus the reason why we recently hit the market with a major breakthrough called STM32WL. It's actually a system on chip, and what does that mean? It means that actually that all the technical structures are implemented on the same silicon die. So that means the CPUs, but also the peripherals, the radio transceiver, all of which on the same silicon die, which is in the framework of multi-modulation and LoRa enablement, a world first. So let's review together your main benefits when using STM32WL. So of course, we wanted to make sure that you could implement LoRa 1, Sigfox, Wireless MBUS, or, or actually any other proprietary protocol on the platform. And for this reason, there is multi-modulation compatibility. So that means LoRa modulation, but also GFSK, GMSK, and BPSK. As just explained, the system on chip Im implementation means that actually uh, there is a deep integration factor and that will lead to a massive cost savings for your PCB implementations. The platform itself is fully open, so that means that you guys, device maker, will always be free to implement whatever you want on the platform. Now, in terms of architecture, it's actually a dual core architecture based on ARM Cortex M4 and ARM Cortex M0 Plus which brings advanced security features. We could think, for example, of secure key management services, which is a dedicated flash memory area that can be used to store and manage your objects in a secure way, such as your applicative keys or protocol or keys, for example. But also we could mention secure firmware install and secure firmware updates that are useful to flash your devices from an untrusted manufacturing site, for example. Or lastly, we could think of a chain of trust and root of trust through Secure Boot. Now, in terms of packages, we have both a BGS73 and a QFN48, depending on your needs in terms of GPIO numbers, but also in terms of cost optimization or footprint. The ecosystem offer is also very rich because we ensured that you have all the tools that you will need from configuration up to uh, flashing of the, of the device. So for a configuration, you have STM32 CubeMX, uh, so that you can configure the pinout, but also automatically generate some code, which is very useful when you want to prototype in a fast way. There is STM32 Cube IDE to develop your code in a free of charge way, or you can perform RF advanced testing through STM32 Cube Monitor. And last but not least, you can also flash your device with STM32 Cube Programmer. Finally, uh, you can also sleep well because we have our usual 10-year uh, longevity commitment, which is actually renewed every year.